Felipe Toledo does decide to commit to this wave against William Cardoso. The two-time J-Bay champ digs in. A beautiful hack to start. Floats it off the roof. Toledo wraps it into the pocket again. Driving through that big top turn wrap, showcasing all that power. Big vertical blitz off the lift, jams it again. <laughs> power hack down the line for Toledo. Wow. Beautiful front side down carb, holds the rail, then resets for the lift to hit. And flows down to the finish. Holy moly. Felipe loves to explode out of the gates, putting pressure immediately on William Cardoso. Have another look, Bucks. Yeah, as the ocean lights up, Felipe delaying the takeoff, and in, in doing so, I, I think it kind of put him in a really good position. This is one of those little growers, and the speed of it allowed Felipe multiple maneuvers, but not just that, the variety that hit this kid brings, and it's all stitched together with speed and power. Probably for me, one of the pound to pound most powerful guys on tour, lightning fast, taking over that reputation from Mick Fanning. Boost through the lip again. I mean, how many maneuvers, how many variety of maneuvers, and done with that speed, like I said. What a way to open up for Felipe Toledo, 9.43. Thank you very much. That's why this guy's tough to beat out here, Joe, because that wave looked like an average wave at best, and he turned it into the best wave of the day. He's not a guy that has to surf into rhythm, is he? He can do it on the first wave of the day. He did paddle up high up the point, so he gets nice and warmed up before the heat starts. And almost gave us perfection. One judge went as high as a 9-7 there. Yeah, you know what? You can't disagree with that. Uh, after what we've seen today, the scores uh, through the opening heats. Um, I love the color of the board as well. Looks like something different to, to compared to what he's been riding. You know, there's a reason why this kid's won this event twice in a row. Looks so at home here. And he's done it not just in waves this size, but bombing. Good, solid, big Jeffreys Bay as well. So, slowly working it out. He's too good not to. And Felipe's showing us why. He's the man to watch. He just needs to find that consistency through the year and events that he struggles in and capitalize on the events that he can do well. Winning in Rio. Can he go back to back here at J-Bay? If he, surf, if he keeps surfing like that, Joe, it's a no-brainer. Eventually go three in a row for his J-Bay titles. This is what the Panda was waiting for. Williams setting up his bottom turn. First turn, a power hack to get down the line. Hard off the bottom and a clean frontside wrap. Driving through a big section. William hangs on under the hood. Can he make it? That one's going to shut down on Cardoso. His turns just make so much sense on the wall at J-Bay. And I guarantee you, Felipe's going to drop another good score here through this heat. Toledo onto his second wave. First wave, a 9-4-3. All set up work. High lining, now off the bottom. Clean front side wrap for Toledo. Extending that down carve. Attacking that lip line. And daggers it right in the guts of the wave. Floats it just to project down the line. Another Ooh. one off the top and he'll wisely eject as that board just flipped underneath him. To avoid that impact zone. Already given us such a show in the first few minutes of the matchup. Ended up dinging one of the channels and it's just never been the same. Yeah. Toledo on wave number two. I love the, the waiting. Waiting for that wave to stand up. Now he starts to go to town. Some beautiful rail work at the early section of the wave. Getting himself in the groove. Now he starts to ramp it up. Every turn a little bit more radical than the last. And then right here as he goes up into the lip. Let's that board go and a smart move. Full deck of you. I'm trying to pick apart which board he might be on. Yeah. He has that Holy Toledo model, which almost felt like it was created on waves like this. And the ocean is on fire here at Jeffries Bay. Cardoso quickly on another solid one. Setting that rail. Nice, easy pace. Belts it right on the pocket there. 
He's hoping this thing's going to go inside oh. out. He'll lay down a beautiful carve. Epic wow. transition. And lays it down on the open face again. <laughs> Taps it vertical and rides away clean. The Panda flexes out of that final turn. It was way before it was the 5-5. Five five. It's here from Ace and Dylan. Meanwhile, the Panda's still paddling back out, and Toledo's on his third ride, belting it right in the pocket. Beautiful wrapping turn. Even slid the tail out. There's that searing down carve. Toledo giving us a lot of variety down the stretch. Whips that cut back around. Flawless surfing from Toledo. Two-time event champ in back-to-back -back fashion. Just uh, decided to take a break from dismantling <laughs> that way that J-Bay felt on the finish. I think that surprised him as well. Felipe Toledo, wave number three. There's maneuver number two on that one. High line through the section into his third turn. Maneuver number four. I mean, let's just count these maneuvers. They're not counting turns, but they are scoring them. Seven. I mean, this is a, a long wave again. Maneuver number eight. So building his points all the way through the inside here and then goes down at the end. So that, we talk about the leg burn and right there, he took a little bit of time to breathe and uh, the wave ate him up. But roughly nine maneuvers on that wave and each one is going to add to the score on the board. Back in my day, that would have been a 10-point ride, Joe, <laughs> because of the fact that they score how many turns you do on a wave and the length of ride. Not in this day and age, though. It's all about the quality. All about the combination. It's all about putting them together seamlessly and making it look good, and Toledo is one of the best at that out here at Jeffreys Bay. Again, look at this slicing through that wave and again through the lip beautiful surfing from Felipe Toledo and that board looks unbelievable under his feet again I'd like to find out if that is that swallowtail or not because it kind of looked like it a little bit it's that release that he gets it's really hard to tell what Felipe rides because he surfs so good on whatever he's on and again, just smooth, clean, powerful surfing from the young Brazilian, showing us why he is one of the best out here and why he's uh, dropped two of the highest scores of the day so far. What a rhythm for Toledo, just losing the finish, but still on the Jeep leaderboard to really fight for his first world title. William Cardoso digs in. Needing an excellent number to get involved in this heat. Big layback hack incomplete. The perfect right hand point break that all point breaks are measured against. Clean conditions continue here in the round of 16. Cardoso trying to fight back in this heat to break down a pretty severe combination of scores. Set up, snap, hammers it down the line. Nice composure off the bottom, belts the lip again. Layback, power jam incomplete for William. And a tough one to fall on because he really needs to manage the clock well to break the combination quickly. It's not an easy uh, task at hand and it, it kind of makes you surf outside of your comfort zone, which he kind of needs to do. He needs to really ramp it up. And again, I think that the wave quality is going to let him down, and I think he knew that. That's why he did this Hail Mary maneuver right here at the end, just really going for it. Setting it up all the way through the inside right there, just losing it. He was expecting a little bit more give. The, the fins hooked in, and it spelt disaster. And, and let's not forget about the leg burn, the fatigue right now that sets in, makes those maneuvers all that much more harder to, to perform. He's in a great seat now. Felipe Toledo, dominant performance, 18.26 total. We'll take out William Cardoso to move on to the quarterfinals here at Jeffries Bay.